before we go, we're going to spend some time talking with your Clerk of Courts candidate, Matt Gardy. Matt, thank you for being with me this morning. Jenna, thanks for having me. All right, Matt, could you tell our viewers a little bit about you and your role in the community? Sure, sure. I'm currently the Technology Director at the Office of the State Attorney. Mm -hmm. And previous to that, I've worked at the Public Defender's of Office in the same role. Mm -hmm. And so for about the last seven years, I've been involved in either the State Attorney or the Public Defender's Office. Uh, and so we're really, I consider that the largest customer of the clerk's office. So I have a great understanding of um, what the customer's needs are. Um, prior to that, I've worked in technology at the U.S. Army overseas and the U.S. Navy actually here at the Naval Air Station. And I've been a columnist in some local newspapers. Mm -hmm. And uh, back in the 1990s, I served on the Burlington, Vermont uh, City Council. I'm originally from Burlington, Vermont. And I've also served on the Burlington, Vermont Board of Finance. Okay. okay. And uh, so, uh, in terms of the clerk's offices, I've been very acutely involved with the clerk's office in many facets. And, mm -hmm. uh, and being involved in the state attorney and public defender, I know a lot of the private defense attorneys in town, and their, their uh, use of the clerk's office and expectations of the clerk's office. Okay. And Matt, I know you hear this all the time, but why are you running? Well, it's really because I think uh, a lot of people don't understand, you know, th th this hasn't been a contested race in so long. Some people don't even know in our community what the clerk really does. Mm -hmm. And it's such a vital uh, center part of our community, uh, whether it be overseeing the land records, whether it be overseeing the records for the civil and criminal case files, but also as, uh, you know, kind of a financial watchdog of all the various government agencies in the county. Uh, it's really critical in so many ways and affects so many people's lives, and I think I have a great understanding of that. Now, historically, um, you know, Danny Coolidge, the outgoing clerk, is, is well known for his reputation for being a financial watchdog and, and really watching the numbers, and he's done a great job in that regards. Um, where I see there is need for improvement in the clerk's office is in the technology, which could leverage a lot of uh, advantages both uh, for cost savings uh, and producing a better product for the community. And that's where I think my skill set comes into play. Uh, although I'm not, you know, just a technology person, I'm very cost conscious with all my uh, work that I've done in the public sector. Okay, so you believe that your background in technology, I mean, that could really play a huge role if you were to be elected clerk of court. Sure, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if it, I, I kind of look at it like this. We, there's a solid financial team in place at the clerk's office, aside from Danny Coolidge. And, um, and if we've got a, a great, that's the great side of the clerk's office right now. Um, you know, where do we need to make improvements with the clerk's office? And I think in, in contrast to my opponents who are all, you know, very skilled uh, individuals with great resumes, um, the, the place we have to work on is, is the technology side of things. And a lot of it, in t working in technology, I'll, I'm the first one to admit, I do not know everything. And in fact, I'll, I'll say part of technology is really learning on the go, on the fly, because what you studied back in college and what you've worked on Ten years ago is not what you're working on today. Right, it's different. Exactly. <laughs> and technology is really problem solving and finding solutions for the end users, finding solu solutions for the, you know, in this case, the public, um, and understanding what the needs are of the, of the office itself in terms of its state requirements and things like that. Now, what are the biggest things that you think need improved on the technology side? Well, first and foremost is the clerk's office has been mandated to um, move ahead with e-filing. And what that means is for all the uh, civil and criminal case files, uh, historically, it's all been done with paper. They, you know, people would either you know, submit the documents in paper and they're stored in paper. Uh, this allows for attorneys or pro se litigants or uh, the state attorney and the public defender to be able to submit those documents through uh, an e-portal that the state's, state's already developed. Mm -hmm. And that would just be an immense time-saving, cost-saving, labor-saving just from my perspective at the state attorney's office. But if you looked as a whole across the community and the uh, ability for defense attorneys or any attorneys, even in the, in the civil, civil cases, to be able to take advantage of that, um, it would be a huge, huge advantage to the community. And it's really not, uh, at this point, uh, it would be almost end up saving money. So, so the sooner you can implement it. There are counties uh, across the state that are completely ready to go and they're already accepting complete e-filing. And we're just kind of in, I, I would prioritize it more. And, and our, our role as the clerk was to be able to develop a system that would integrate with the state's e-portal. Now that's one aspect of the documents coming in. Mm -hmm. The other aspect is the documents going out. You know, if you want to go look at a case file right now, you might live in Big Pine, you've got to drive to Key West or Marathon or Plantation Key, wherever that case is, mm -hmm. and request to look at that case file. And now we've got into uh, the privacy to protect information. The staff then manually, with magic markers, have to make copies and redact this, and you sometimes can't get it for days just to look at a case file. Wow. And that should all be available online. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, I know the case management system Odyssey that the clerk's office works with has the capacity to be doing that electronic redactment. So if we get the documents digitally to start with, mm -hmm. and the work is done in terms of redacting, that can become available to the public in an easy fashion from the comfort of their home. Wow. And mm -hmm. the state attorney's office, you know. You sound so passionate about this, Matt. Well, uh, you know, that's why, you know, people say, why do you run for office? And I think, you know, across the board, certain people run for office as a placeholder, a stepping stone. Mm -hmm. It's just basically what I've been looking at for the last seven years. And, you know, I've worked for every level of government, whether it be the federal government, state government, county, and, uh, you know, Burlington. I work for the, the city of Burlington. And I really uh, gained an appreciation for uh, the frustrations of the public. Mm -hmm. And um, I've also been a small business owner, and I, I think government should be run like a business. Mm -hmm. And in so many fashions, it's just kind of, well, you got this blank check coming from the taxpayers, and we do okay. I, I just have a problem with that. I think we should really step it up mm -hmm. in terms of uh, government agencies and really do the best we can. And, and it's, you know, it's not so much that uh, the clerk didn't do that historically. Mm -hmm. It's just times have changed. Right. And, and there's so many cost savings and at the same time when we're hearing about budget problems we should really be examining all the ways to save time and labor and and resources to to accommodate for those shortfalls in budgets okay well thank you so much for being with us this morning yeah. and for sharing all of this yeah well, <laughs> you're welcome it's great being here for more information you can check out his website mattgardy.com that's going to do it for us today everyone but have a great rest of your day i'll be back tomorrow morning at 7 a.m and 8 30.